We're going to look at how we put the facing on this. I've already jumped ahead and I've cut this out. We wouldn't normally cut this out because it would be our early pattern draft, our kind of like basic master pattern. You can see where that rolls on that break line, roll line, how we're getting that kind of collar for the front. And this is all one piece. And I've also just jumped ahead and I just angled that, changed that so that I've got that kind of shape. Um, the facing is going to run down here on the front and actually I've already copied it out so we've got a piece that looks like that so to achieve that from the neck point we want to measure in two centimeters about four centimeters in real scale and then on the bottom Roughly where the curve finishes, if it's square, then it doesn't make any difference. We're going to come up. Obviously, if your curve curves in more, then you would need to consider moving it in further. But this is very much like what was done on the master pattern of the tailor jacket. And then once we get to... So this is just running parallel to the centre front. We want to do taking the shoulder angle at 90 degrees. We just want to bring those pieces together. So that becomes the facing. So we can see that I've copied it out here. Let's move the paper. If I can get it off the sticky table, it's sticky because of spray mount. When we see the self front piece roll over, the facing, this piece will be on top. So just on this edge here, we are going to make it 0 0.5, 0 0.3, depending on the fabric. We're going to make the leaf edge bigger. when it rolls over the seam will roll under. No need to do it there, no need to do it there. Um, grain line would run down. Some people, some people, who are these people? Are they nice? Some people will bring the roll behind point 3.5 so that the roll is going in the opposite direction of the brake line. So where this is coming over, this one would be pulling under. So we would get something like that. And this facing would probably or could potentially join onto the lining. The other facing is for the back neckline. So I've just copied around the back and this measurement, which was two centimetres, is the same here. Yeah, and that's the back neckline and that would be about two centimetres as well. And we would just bring that around making sure that these points are at 90 degrees as well. And then we would do, we would probably cut this pattern piece on the fold as well. So we would end up for this, we would end up with the grown on collar, short collar on the front. We would have a facing piece. We would have a whole back, depending on what style you want on the back. And then you would have a separate facing piece. So the whole neckline and the leaf edge down here is all completely clean and tidy. Um, so that is a basic shawl collar. Just remember 